Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we are going to create this amazing double exposure effect. And uh, without wasting any kind of time, let's start our work. I am going to use this simple image. Select your quick selection tool and we will create a selection around our character. Once you create a selection, just make a layer mask on it or just go to select and mask. From select and mask, select this. Uh, refine edge tool and we will simply just remove the unwanted area which we don't want to use in our image now uh, once you're ready once you're ready name this layer as model then select the uh, city wallpaper uh, unlock the layer right click on it and convert it into a smart object then select and drag it into our main image once you drag this name this layer as uh, city and press ctrl T to tra transform this and that looks amazing so click on this check mark very nice and turn on the background layer you will see and uh, now select the model layer select the uh, layer mask thumbnail change the foreground color to white select brush layer and simply just remove these sides but don't too much retouch because once you uh, overlap this uh, this area you will see it will change in uh, it is uh, it is changing to the uh, exposing the second image so don't do that just select the model layer and carefully uh, create a selection change the hardness to about 32 percent and now you can do your work once you've done that uh, like this okay it's it's uh, it's nice here now change the city layer blending mode to lighten once you're done just uh, select your brush tool create a layer mask on it change the model layer and uh, select the city layer and you will see it is uh, it, it start exposing the background of our character but we don't want to use that what we actually want to do is we'll select our layer mask thumbnail and change the opacity to about like uh, 25 or 20 percent between that before we do anything else select the city layer and go to image adjustments and levels from the levels go to presets and change it to light colors from light colors we'll make it a little bit light and after that change this to about little darker like uh, like here and i think i am fine with this and don't too much dark just a little bit like uh, maybe 70 to 75 but i would like to go with uh, 70 little bit so click on ok now select the city layer mask thumbnail change the foreground color to black opacity is 24 percent and brush on the layer which you don't wanna so much expose like this side and this side a little bit this side a little bit and that's nice very nice now we have done a little bit uh, actually we have done lots of work now we want to make it a little bit full so it could look like fully on top of the this building so what we'll do is we'll copy the city layer delete the layer mask thumbnail on it and now change it to normal you will see it's a full image don't worry about that we'll press select our eraser tool and uh, create a layer mask on it again 
select your brush tool change the foreground color to black hope that should be 100% and we want to erase everything like this and if you don't want to you do this by a brush tool just select your quick section tool it's a sorry it's a rectangular marker tool and we just want to need only this uh, side so select this and go to select inverse and press alt plus backspace and it will automatically delete everything except this now press ctrl d and we have this image that's nice and perfect any issue here no issue that's cool okay now press x uh, selecting your white uh, select change your foreground color to white press this tool and uh, don't do too much that's nice that's so much nice actually now we want to give it a light and we need some birds so what we'll do is we'll create a new layer name this layer as uh, light go to your uh, brush tool opacity should be 100% keep in mind change the foreground color to a little light color like this color FFA 800 click on ok then size it up like this and click in the center like this but check your hardness is not 32 percent so make it zero percent and now size it up a little bit like this click on this twice now change the foreground color to a little more hard color the code is ff6000 click on ok then size it down then double click inside that now press ctrl t size it up and then change the blending mode to light screen or uh, lighten it's your choice totally choice but i think we should go with uh, lighten so now press ctrl t size it a little bit up nicely done now press ctrl j you will see the copy is increased and now we'll name this layer as sun now press ctrl i to invert this now we'll select our hui saturation tool make a clip mask clicking on this it will mask on our sun layer colorize this increase the saturation and then we want to make it like a little bit of droning sun like this and that's nice if you want to turn this off it will look like little red but you don't want to make it little red it looks like perfect here now we want to need some brush of uh, we can say that uh, we need some birds so i have a image of birds like this size these birds up now for this image i will make this layers copy but not like this first we'll create a thumbnail on it and press brush tool and uh, we'll erase all the other birds changing your hardness to 100 percent and we'll erase all the other brushes uh, birds like this and change this uh, layer opacity to sorry uh, blending mode to uh, multiply that's cool now copy this birds and delete the thumbnail on it and then uh, or instead of deleting we'll select our thumbnail press ctrl i to invert and now you will see that we have different birds for this image we want to make it a little smaller like like this and we'll make it look like this that's great and uh, it's inside group so we'll ungroup that and let's just make it a little, little faded out like this and uh, create an instead of new layer we'll make it a little bit like this And there we have our image now we want to make some color correction so we'll go to levels uh, sorry it's uh, exposure we need to increase uh, not so just refresh that and expose to about a little bit not so much like uh, 28 or 20 percent now select your selective colors and we want to make green colors 
and uh, that's cool now change the blues now we'll change the blacks change the neutrals and that's nice make this a clip mask again exposure should also be clip masked and that's nice change the vibrance and increase the vibrance a little bit cool and now press ctrl shift alt plus e then we'll create a new layer and change this opacity to soft light go to adjustments panel click on gradients from the gradients we want to apply a gradient where which looks much better on it so i would like to select a gradient color this is nice so click on ok hit ok now press ctrl shift alt plus e again then convert this layer into a smart object then go to filter other high pass to give this image a little bit detail so we will use a radius of 2.0 click on ok change the normal to soft light and that's the final output i hope you like this video if you found this video helpful uh, give this video a thumbs up we will meet in our next video do not forget to subscribe never stop never depend and keep learning